Hi, this is Willie Bean here with an update on what's going on in uh, the war in Ukraine and its impact upon the U.S. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, Canadian prepper, uh, Hal Turner, Before It's News, Untold History's interview with Jim Willie recently, uh, Benjamin Fulford, Daily Mail. Okay, today's date is May 22 2023 new this is my third youtube channel i have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen thanks for like subscribe and share on youtube and rumble episode 16 russia bombs ukraine 12 hours plus and the u.s puts up in our skies over the united states a a nuke tracer uh Plane. So I'll get to it. Back moot. And we have uh, confirmed now that there is a nuclear cloud moving over Europe. So let's get started. First of all, I'll draw a map. And on Sunday, uh, Russia was bombing uh, Ukraine for over 12 hours. During the course of that, the U.S. military put up in our sky over the continental U.S. our uh, doomsday planes. Okay, so we have Russia. We've got Ukraine. Let's draw a map. We've got Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, Kherson, Crimea, Poland, Hungary. Romania. Over here we would have Europe because uh, we have substantiated there is a nuclear cloud now moving over Poland, Germany. We would have France a little bit over. Okay, we've got Belarus. We've got Russia going all the way over here. Russia. We've got uh, Finland, Sweden, Norway. All right. So what happened over the weekend was, oh, let me begin with this. I have a Patriot subscriber in Philadelphia, and she said, at the Philly airport on Friday, about 5 in the afternoon, we saw 50 soldiers get off a plane who had brown uniforms on, Chinese soldiers in brown Chinese military uniforms in Philadelphia, Friday, May 19, about 5 p.m. Philly is about two hours from Washington, D.C., and we heard some other things have been going on in Washington, D.C. with the military. So I'll have to get more information on that. I want to say thank you to my Patriot subscriber in Magnolia for support of my channel. And I also uh, want to mention that my uh, mailing address, post office box, has changed. And I have the new post office box listed in my uh, description. So, okay. So then on Sunday... That would be May 21 from about 11 a.m. our time to about 9 o'clock at night. Russia was bombing Ukraine. Uh, so they put up from both Ingalls, Russian Air Force Base. They had uh, Olenia. They have one near Moscow. Okay. And then they had ships. We have the Caspian Sea. We have the Black Sea. All of which had ships and multiple planes. Okay. So, Sunday, May 21, uh, they began about 11 a.m. with uh, TU-22 bombers, seven of them. Uh, plus four Russian ships in the Black Sea. And they hit Odessa uh, seven times. And they also hit the port area where 
the West had a lot of equipment coming in from Romania. So a lot of Western equipment was hit there coming from the U.S. and U.K., NATO. So they hit seven times there. They also hit along this area, Zaporonista. The primary targets, though, were Dnepro and Kiev. They hit all over uh, Ukraine. And my primary source on this is Hal Turner. Okay, we had seven hits in Odessa. And they hit, uh, in this area, a fuel uh, location. They also hit troops coming in from Romania. And we know that we had, in Romania, what? We had thousands of U.S. military. So they hit troops coming from Romania into Odessa. They hit Western equipment also coming in there. All right, the port. They hit in the Donetsk area. They hit, they took out Ukraine S-300 missiles in the Zaporonista area. They hit out, hit a Ukraine command post, 102nd. All right, so all over, um, Ukraine, Russia took down 15 HIMARS, uh, MLRS projectiles, Storm Shadow, long-range missiles. Plus, in Donetsk area, they took down nine Ukraine UAVs, like drones, in the air. Okay. Then from Russia, from Ingalls Air Force Base, seven this is later in the afternoon. Seven TU-95 strategic bombers took off over the Caspian Sea to hit Ukraine. By 6 o'clock, okay, so on Sunday, so this will be Sunday, May 21, about 6 p.m., over the continental U.S., we had up to E-4B command and control planes. These are the planes that the U.S. military puts in the air when they anticipate a strike on the U.S. homeland. So that happened. Did we hear about it? No. All right. So at 7 p.m. over the Caspian Sea, Russia was still bombing Ukraine. There have been dozens of explosions in Dnepro. 24 hits by missiles in Dnepro. The major targets are Dnepro and Kiev. And we've heard this. Bakhmut has fallen. And Bakhmut uh, has been the primary fighting location for NATO and uh, Ukraine, so that has fallen. We understand. We have Hal Turner reporting. Day uh, Hal reported May twenty. Daily Mail picked up on May twenty one, and uh, this was a site for major highways and rails. Very important uh, logistically to uh, the U Ukraine and NATO for moving supplies and troops. It's gone down. Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner PMC for Russia, states that Wagner will leave Bakhmut May 25 and be replaced by the regular Russian military. Now we'll get over the nuke cloud moving over Europe. So we've had a lot of Back and forth on this, but we have substantial uh, sources, including Jim Willey, PhD economist from Costa Rica, his contacts, Benjamin Fulford, Canadian journalist who lives in Japan, 
substantiating that a, some type of nuclear uh, event did occur inside Ukraine. And now we have this, the radioactive cloud is moving over Poland and Europe. Released when uh, and during a uh, few days ago, bombing by Russia into Ukraine hit a warehouse that was packed full of UK uh, ammo for its Challenger tanks, which is depleted uranium. So that's going on. Now, we have this. And then we had that G7 meeting where they were talking about memorializing Hiroshima. And I submitted, there was some reason for that topic being brought up at the G7 meeting. So, we've got that going on. Yeah. So, Benjamin Fulford substantiates his contacts. And he has contacts with Intel all over the world. An actual nuke went off inside Ukraine. So, Jim Willett, all right, he had information from a Russian arms seller that the depleted uranium had to be heated to a certain Kelvin degree for actual detonation to uh, occur. But something happened with the depleted uranium, and it's now spreading, according to Jim Willett's contacts, over Poland and Germany and Europe. Yeah. So that's going on. And now I had another source. I had, and this source is, uh, I think, see, uh, Press TV is one source on their website. They were documenting that, uh, the Russian Security Council uh, was warning ab about a depleted uranium cloud. Yeah, okay. So Press TV is reporting that the Russian Security Council inside Russia is advising uh, the world that a depleted uranium radioactive cloud is moving over Poland and Europe. And now I have this. I have a new site I'm using, Lost Ages Secrets. And I'll link this for you because he's bringing out uh, the math on the... Okay, so we had that location inside Ukraine, Klemensky, and the depleted uranium uh, being blown up and releasing. Now, I know a uh, Canadian prepper initially was talking about a mushroom cloud. And this is a hallmark of uh, radioactive explosions. Now, Gene Decode came out with some interesting information a few weeks ago about uh, what it takes to have an actual nuclear explosion where the uh, items around you are vaporized. And he was talking about energy lines, like ley lines on the earth, coming up from the equator, and you have to have a certain crossing of these lines in terms of energy within a one-second time interval for the nuke to go off to actually be a nuclear explosion. So I'm thinking what he's talking about is where it creates this vacuum and vaporizes everything. Otherwise, what he's saying is what we're seeing, you have an explosion and you have a release 
of the nuclear material. So that's going on. So we did have a mushroom cloud. Now what Lost Ages Secrets is bringing out is a math concept. So you begin with this point. You draw a triangle. You have a formula for calculating. So he used the height of the cloud. And I'll link that for you and you can follow his math. And he was talking about it. The highest would be 12,830 feet. He used this to calculate that about two kilotons of TNT would have been released from this mushroom cloud. Yeah. So we have a basis for this going on. Now, so, so we say to the people of Poland and the U.S. military, I've been putting that out, that the U.S. military located in Poland are now being exposed for sure, but it's also moving over Europe. So the we understand that the UN and international <laughs> organizations are not for the people. So it behooves uh, individuals involved in health, uh, real health organizations in Poland and in Europe to get out there and be putting out some practical uh, information that's based on what what can be expected and uh, how much uh, exposure there is for the people in Poland and Europe and their children. So we'll look to see if there are any, well, I believe there are responsible people working in the medical field, but I also believe that the New World Order will try to suppress that information like they are now. So we have multiple sources uh, supporting that there is a nuke cloud moving over Poland and Europe. So that's going on. Okay. Canadian Prepper was the source for some information about General Zaluski. He's the head of the military in Ukraine as being either critically ill in the hospital or possibly deceased. So that's going on. So we can, it's good, this is a short update. I'll be back later. I had a Patriot subscriber who wants to know if uh, I'll have to do some research. What is the economic outlook for Turkey? So we'll see. So I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.